Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In one of my previous videos I've shown you how you can easily make these line mazes inside PowerPoint. In today's video I'm going to show you what else can you do with those same mazes you created inside PowerPoint. So let's start. So let's move to the new slide. The procedure was go to the Insert tab, go under Shape tabs, under Curve tool, and just start clicking around your slide to make the maze line. Of course, you can make it as complicated as you want or as easy as you want it. And as you can see, my line is already set to the shape I wanted. I went to the shape outline, change the color, change the weight, change the arrows. I have this selection within the PowerPoint itself, so I picked the last one with two round bubbles at the end. Okay, so this is the first line. Let's draw one more line, the actual maze line. And that one is going to end up here. Okay. So this is what you have. You can use this, you can export this and import to Canva and decorate with illustrations there. Or you can decorate it here directly inside PowerPoint by adding your illustrations. But what else can you do with this maze you just created? So this is just one style of the maze. Let's change it up. Select everything on the slide and go to Shape Outline. Or you can click here as well to expand the Format Shape tab on the right. Now, click on Width and change it to 20. Or play with numbers and see what works for you. For me, in this case, I like 20. And now I'm going to duplicate everything on a slide. So Control D to duplicate. And on this one, I'm going to change Width to 14. And I'm going to change Color to White. And I'm going to move them on top of each other. And now, as you can see here, we have this. If you like it like this, you can leave it. But let's click on any of the shapes to activate the Shape Format tab and activate Selection Pane so we can pick what is under and what is over each other. And now you have these four shapes that you drawn on a slide here in the selection. If you click on any of these and move it, you will see that they are moving around. So one is moving on top of the other. So let's pick it. You see here, now we moved the shapes and now we have this line going over the line that is under. And that's it. That is how you actually utilize this line you created, this maze line you created, and change it into something new. Now, in this situation, if you don't like the way how this looks like, for me, I like this because I can put here numbers like 1, 2, 3, or A, B, C. I can do that. But in case you don't like this, you don't like how this ends look like in this shape, select everything, activate the shape format tab, and now you can change arrow type here and cap type here. Or you can also do that by going here and change the arrows to none. And change the cap tab, for example, to round. And now you have from this, you get this in just a couple of clicks. So this becomes this. Now, also another trick I'm going to show you is do you see this one do you see the rabbit here in the middle so what you do is just pick any png random png silhouette so it can be you see dog cat butterfly it doesn't matter and just trace around it so just go with here and let me show you so go with shapes curve and then just click around when you reach the rabbit just click around it and form the shape of a rabbit this would be funny for Easter for example Easter is coming up so do this let's form the 
ears. Okay. Of course, you can click on it, edit shape, edit points, and then you can move the points around. And let's move the rabbit away. And you see, you can create also a unique shape of the lines. And this is my previous attempt. So you can do all kinds of things. And what was it? Uh, how long is this video? It's like maybe three minutes because I'm explaining. So basically, if you scroll, if I scroll and show you, you see this? It took me like one minute, two minutes to make all these mazes and as you can see once you make the maze duplicate the slide pick the solution line change the color and you automatically have a solution so this is something that you can easily do inside powerpoint quickly once you are finished export to canva or add illustrations directly inside the powerpoint and you have your unique interior for your book or for your worksheet or for your school whatever Thank you very much. If you have any questions, ask me down below. Have a nice day. Goodbye.